I know a lot of people that watch these don't follow baseball. If you haven't heard, this is the biggest story that's going on. It's brought to you by DraftKings. Fernando Tatis Jr., he is one of the better players going in the major leagues right now. He's so fun to watch. He hits his 10th homer on the season. He ties Mike Trout, who's like the best player ever, to tie him for the most home runs this season. He's going off. He's having fun. He should become one of the big faces in baseball. Just young and fun. Padres are up by seven runs. That guy beats the shift pro far. A rude thing to do, beating the shift like that on an infield single when you're up by seven runs. Can't be doing that. Then we're going to walk this batter. Now it's two on. We're going to walk this batter. Now it's bases loaded, and Fernando Tatis Jr. steps up to the plate looking delicious again. Ball one in the dirt. What are you going to do? You got to pitch to him. Ball two in the dirt. He's not chasing. He's got good discipline. You want him just to chase just because you're down by a lot? Now it's a 3-0. Now here's where it gets fun. The unwritten rules say you shouldn't be swinging on 3-0, especially if you're up six runs after the sixth inning. They're up seven runs after the sixth inning. It's the eighth inning. Why do the unwritten rules say this? Well, because pitchers historically are huge babies and they, they masquerade that with toxic masculinity. And if you piss off a pitcher, well, he can just throw the projectile at you and hurt you. So you have to be careful not to piss off the pitchers. And just because he threw three bad pitches in a row that you didn't swing at, that means you now have to let him throw a strike right down the middle. If you're new to baseball and you're like, what the hell are you talking about? This is, uh, you know, it makes so much sense because afterwards, then the pitcher is going to say, okay, here's another fastball. You can swing at this one. Oh, nope, that's not true. After the fact, the pitcher is then going to try to get you out. Oh, okay. So does the other team, they're just not going to try to come back and win because they're down by so much. So that's why, no, no, no. They're going to do everything they come to stay to come back and, and win. You're just not allowed to add more runs because, you know, you don't want to piss the pitcher off. He's got feelings. Think about him. Anyway, they said that Tatis missed the sign from the third base coach. And after this 3-0 pitch, he doesn't even look over there. He's not even going to give them the option. He never once looked. There was no sign given because he never looked. If he did look, would they have given him the take sign, the don't swing? Maybe, but he didn't give him the option. So he sees this fastball. It's actually not even like middle-middle. It's kind of outside. He goes out and gets it. He pops it over the wall for his league leading 11th home run. He overtakes Mike Trout, one of the best players ever, with the most home runs in baseball. Woodward, the manager of the uh, the Rangers, oh, okay, I see you. Okay, that's how it is. He runs around the bases. He does everything he did the first time, celebrates with his boys just like he did on the first home run. Same exact routine. Comes back to the dugout. Hosmer loves him, smiling, having fun, dapping him up. Interesting. Interesting there, coming up later on. And here's his manager, Jace Tingler, first-year manager, kind of giving him a look like, hmm, I don't know. I'm not going to celebrate with you about that. Like, I don't know. Then the Rangers bring in a new pitcher, and the first thing he does is he throws behind Machado's back because they they pissed off his teammates. This pitcher didn't do this on his own accord. He was told to throw behind Machado by the manager. That's how baseball works. It's a dumb society sometimes. The umpires get together. They give no warnings. They did suspend the pitcher and Woodward after this because obviously that was intentional, and Woodward's sitting there with his feelings hurt. Then they get out of the inning. Hosmer makes the last out. He runs down the line. He looks at the opposing dugout and says, hey, we'll talk to him. We'll talk to him. And then Hosmer talks to Tatis, who just hit two home runs, just became the kid with the most home runs in all of baseball, and look at the face he's making. He's getting a stern talking to. He's being told how wrong he was. He's having zero fun. The kid who has the most fun right now on the baseball field just hit a grand slam, has two home runs, leads all of MLB, leads all of MLB and he's having zero fun on the bench because he beat, he broke some unwritten rule that nobody cares about. How backwards is baseball that this kid hits league leading 11th home run, a grand slam, has a fantastic night, and he has to sit in front of the media and say, yeah, next time I'll probably just take a strike instead of doing what they pay me to do, 
what I will be getting a contract to do. His kid should be so excited and look at the face he's making in the dugout as he's getting talked to about how he didn't follow the unwritten rule. And, you know, respect the opponent because they may get upset. They're pitching so bad that they're going to be upset if you take advantage of how bad they're pitching. Shut up. This is why baseball gets so much flack because of this dumb stuff. The good news is, the really good news is so many people tweeted and the mass, mass majority seems to be on the side of, oh, the baseball player who gets paid to hit baseballs should probably try to hit baseballs at all times. That's the good news. The majority of people see the light. Maybe baseball's moving forward. Also, good news is that this puts Fernando Tatis on more people's radar. We want people to know about him, but we don't want them to know him looking like this. We want them to know him smiling, having fun, and crushing balls. This one is brought to you by DraftKings. Go to DraftKings, download the app, use code JOHNBOY, pick up Fernando Tatis, play him every game. If he gets a 3-0 count, I hope he's swinging.